Hello guys to my next video and it's the do a German doll lover and today it's all about Barbie doll because I want to share my Barbie doll collection with you and I show you all my Barbie dolls I have. We we'll start up with this Barbie doll. This is a best fashion friend Barbie from Smopey. It's not made by Mattel but it is licensed by Mattel so it is an original. And this is uh, the biggest Barbie doll I have. She is 28 inches tall. And this uh, size looks like this. In fact, she's, she's an 18 inch because of her long legs. It uh, would be a 28 inch doll because if you hold an 18 inch doll right next to her, you would see that only the legs is, uh, is the reason why she is that big. She has articulated, uh, uh, she is articulated in her shoulders like this. She can do this because she has also an elbow joint and she has a joint on her wrist. So you can bend her hand and also she has a joint to do this. She can sit and she doesn't sit in a spreaded legs position which I really like on this doll. But unfortunately, there are more of these fashion friends and they are not available and I don't like this really. This is the big, the big Barbie I have and I start over with the next, of course, big Barbie. Ho hopefully she will stand and not fall over because this is what she do all the time. The next Barbie I have is an endless hair Barbie. It's not the Barbie with the blonde hair. I decided to buy this because, first of all, she has a, another face mold. And second of all, she has long and brownish hair. And I don't want an entire doll collection with blonde haired dolls, which I have so far. She's also very articulated. She's a full poseable doll. She can move your head side by side. She has the same articulation as the other Barbie I showed on the arm. And uh, also she can do this. She can sit, she can bend her knees. And also she has a joint right here that you can do this with her, which is really nice. And that's a really nice Barbie doll. I really love her. And yes, that's the reason why she comes with some of those hair bands or hair, how is this called? No matter. And yes, there's also a blonde one out there. I will collect a blonde one in the future, but not for now. Before I do something else, I have to go back to my PC because he is doing something he's not allowed. So, to explain myself, on my PC there is a process and this process is called set launcher. And I don't know what this process do. Uh, I know that this process is annoying me the entire time. And maybe when this launcher is running, maybe the video could be uh, could have some problems so the next barbie doll i want to show you are glitter barbies i have two of them the first i got was this barbie doll it's an asian type doll she's not really articulated all the dolls i show you in the next uh, few minutes they have articulation here they can't go side to side with the arm and they can sit of course but in a splatted legs position. But if you work a little bit on it, you also have the same sitting position like the big Barbie I have. And she has this multicolored hair. There are some strand of hair of, of a lighter brown. And that's really nice. When I find out all the Barbies have this today or these days that they don't have only one um hair color that they 
put some strand of hair um, in another color. Of course, she also can do this with her head. Up and down doesn't work, but who cares? I love this Barbie and that's not a real problem. And I said sit, uh, setting them to the position they um, normally are. The next glitter Barbie I got is this Barbie. By the, f uh, by the way, I forgot to mention that each of my dolls have a name. So the big Barbie doll I uh, showed you at the beginning is Barbie, of course, because she looks like Barbie and she is a Barbie. And the second doll I showed is, uh, I named her Vanessa. And the Barbie I showed you before the next Barbie um, was Vanessa. Not Vanessa, Stephanie. The Bobby I show you right now, is she I named her um, um, Sandra because she reminds me a little bit of Sandra Bullock. Only a little bit, I don't know why. She looks like this. It's also a glitter Barbie. And she comes with these shoes. She has this little, uh, this nice dress. And there is a necklace on her neck. And yes, I really like her. And she also has some lighter color in her hair. And unfortunately, here they are a little bit bald. There is a little bit of hair missing, but okay. I only, I don't pay that much. They, they only wore eight euros. So eight euros is not much for a doll, so I can't say anything. The next Barbies, they are three because they are one pack and they were they are packed together i show you all the trees before not the trees i show you all three before i show each of them in its individual these barbies are i guess chick barbies or cheek barbies and they looks like this this is a one pack for 12.99 and i show you first the plant one before i start over the others Blunt on one is basically a Barbie with the default Barbie face. They have this nice dress and they are of course can do this and can do this and they can do this. This is for all, but they can't um, do this. This is with all the Barbie dolls I have from this um, collection. Just the blonde one. Then I also have this one, which is my favorite from this collection. The blonde one, by the way, is called uh, I call, I named her Mia. This uh, doll, because it's an Asian doll, um, I call her Yuki, and this is my favorite doll from this three pack. And then I also have this doll the red hand red hat and she looks like this they all have an, a different dress as you can see they all have different colored shoes but the um, texture of the shoes is always the same thing and this doll is called Amelia and not Amelia Amelia and she reminds me on a TV star I don't know why but it is like this. See, she reminds me of a TV star, a German TV star, I should say. And yes, this is this Barbie. Then we come to the fashionistas, because I also have three fashionistas. The first fashionistas I bought was her. This is fashionistas 80, 87 when I'm, when, when I'm not wrong. And she's really a nice, beautiful doll, as you can see nice face very unique i should say and she comes with gray yellow hair looks like this they, they have the same um articulation like the others except they can also do this and i call her marie the next um fashionistas i these two I already showed to you in another video. It is, I don't know really which uh, which number she is. 
I, I forgot, but you can see this um, on my Instagram because I had made a, a photo of the package and you can see the numbers. This is this fashionistas and I really like her hair color, by the way. And there are some who I, we, in Germany would call, call it La Meta, <laughs> what we put on the Christmas tree. But it's really, it's, it's really a nice doll, except for I don't like that she already bent her elbow. I don't like this. But on the other hand, she can say hello. That's really, really good. The only thing I don't like on this doll is basically the shoes. The shoes are too loose, or I should say too big for her little feet. <clears throat> Maybe I glue them on the doll, but if I do this, I can't change them anymore. That's the reason why I don't do it. And the last Barbie doll, of course, is one of those curvy Barbies from the Fashionistas. And I called her Samantha. She, in the doll before was Alexandra. She has not that good hair, I should say. It's already... She loses a lot of hair when I comb her hair and that's not so nice and you also have some bald spot but I really like the dress of this doll. And I don't like of course that the uh, sunglasses are attached to her head with these plastic things. We all hate as doll collectors because this is not really a nice touch because there is always they also they are also attached to the box with those things and you can feel it. You can't go deep enough to get rid of it and you also can't really pull them off and that's not really nice from the doll makers. Please Mattel, don't do it because here's the thing. I have one Barbie left, which is also a cheek Barbie. I called her Mandy, for example. Uh, um, yeah, I called her Mandy, and this doll was attached to nothing. She only was in the package, and there is nothing in her hair. There's nothing somewhere else. She was only attached with some rubber bands in the package, and I cut them off, and then she falls off. So that's a little bit better. She comes with this uh, dress, yellow dress. And there is hello written on her on her dress and also the Barbie logo is on it. Then there are some flowers and heart, a lipstick and all this stuff. I really like this doll. And the good thing is she comes with flat shoes and she can stand on it own. It takes a little a little a, a work, but she can stand on its own. That's really nice. Yeah, this, these are the Barbies I have so far and normally I don't collect Barbies because they are too small I don't can really cuddle with them and but the problem is if you have one of them you want more of them that's always the case so I want to do those kind of videos for all the other kinds of dolls I also have In the next video maybe I do a video about my DC superheroes that you see all of them because I don't want to make a review for all of the Barbie dolls because there are so many reviews about Barbie dolls on the internet so we don't have to do this but showing them maybe is a good thing for this video that's it so far I don't forget or forgot something hopefully and Hopefully you liked it. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. You can comment underneath what you think about the Barbie dolls. And also you can subscribe to my channel if, you, if you're not a subscriber yet. We see, you, we see us in the next video. Ciao.